But some of us are smart enough to know about a Sahabi Jalil, that he had an ax in his hand. And he, when he was going down to strike, to chop the wood, he heard Allahu Akbar. What did he do? What did he do? And that's the first lesson we are going to learn tonight, inshallah. You cannot walk out of this place the same way that you came here, Akhi and Ukhti. You have to change. Ilm and Amal, that's what we preach in Mercy Mission. Knowledge and action. You learn something, you act upon it. It becomes hujja laka la alayk. becomes a plea for you, not against you. So that Sahabi radiallahu an, as soon as he had the strike onwards down, he let go. He let go. From now on, Akhi, as soon as you hear the word Allahu Akbar, you let go whatever it is that you have in your mouth. Because if you don't, فَإِنَّكَ تَقُولْ بِلِسَانِ الْحَالِ اللَّهُ لَيْسَ أَكْبَرُ Because if you don't, you're actually saying with your actions and deeds and your behavior, Allah is not greater. greater. That movie is greater. That match is greater. Could you imagine? imagine? Subhanallah. So he said, the Sahabi said, "La burika fi tarqatin nudiya alayha salah." That strike is not blessed. Blessed. When you hear Allahu Akbar, you're doing something else. What is greater than Allah? Who is more important than Allah? In aratta an ta'arafa maqamak fandur fi ma aqamak. If you want to know where you stand with Allah, where does Allah stand with you, Akhi? Does He come first, or does He come manana? Oh, when I have time, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. From now on, you hear Allahu Akbar. Nothing is greater than Allah. So he says how you attain khushu' is when you say Allahu Akbar, you mean it. You mean it. And if you listen to the adhan, it will give you the answer. The only thing that is repeated four times is Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Is telling you Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar than whom? Than your boss, than your job, than your business, than your wealth, than your health, than your spouse, your children, than anything else. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Repeat it four times. And if you don't hear it, Listen to what's coming after that. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Really? Really? Do you really testify and declare that there is no God except Allah? No deity deserving to be worshipped except Allah? So why are you worshipping the dollars and the pounds? Why are you worshipping your boss instead of worshipping Allah? Who has the keys for heaven and hell? Who means more to you? Who will you need more? Who will come in your aid? In your aid. In your aid. Who's in control of your destiny? destiny? You want to run away so fast, but you've forgotten, forgotten. that you want to run away so fast from the prayer so you can get the job or get the risk or get whatever it is that you have to get. And you've forgotten that the one that you're leaving is the one that has control of getting you the job or getting you the or risk. You the risk. You. So how could you leave somebody that is actually the one that is in charge of your own worldly affairs. So be smart, Akhi and Ukhti. So from now on, when you say Allahu Akbar, mean it. You leave this worldly affairs like you left your shoes outside, that's where it belongs. Beneath that soul. You left your shoes outside, that's where the life and your worldly affairs belongs outside this masjid. Beneath your shoes, that's where it belongs. Dunya, meaning the lower, meaning level. The lower level. And if you don't hear Allahu Akbar, or Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, you will say Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Is this the ummah of Rasulullah? Could it be possible that you actually declare that Muhammad is my messenger? My messenger. My messenger. And you're actually staying away from his sunnah. sunnah. How could that be possible? If you haven't even heard, he tells you straight, bluntly, Hayy ala salah, come to prayer. If nothing is working, if, if you cannot read between the lines, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you, there's a caller calling you, come, Hayy ala salah. If that doesn't work for you, you want another success, is Hayy ala al falah. Come to the true success. True success. True success. In this life and the year after. He reminds you again before it's finished, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. So the first thing on his list, he says, when you say Allahu Akbar, mean it. Mean it, yeah. Mean it.